Hey, welcome back to Lick of the Week videos. This is the first in a new series of videos that I'm going to call Lick of the Week Redos. And the reason I'm calling it this is because I'm going to go back and re record in high def with, you know, this much improved computer the early Lick of the Week videos that I posted on the Hangout. Uh, the quality of those first videos was horrible compared to what I have now. So I just thought it would be nice. For the people that do watch and try to use those videos to be able to see and hear them well. <laughs> so this will be light years ahead of what we have, V720, which is high def with a nice uh, condenser microphone. And I can use the zoom function now that I couldn't, didn't have then and couldn't do if I had it because my computer was too weak. So as far as I can tell, the very first Lick of the Week video was posted sometime in the fall of 2008. And uh, it was just one simple lick and the video itself lasted about uh, three and a half minutes or so. So I'm going to expand the content of this video, give you close-ups of the right and left hand with the camera, and hopefully add a few ideas to it so that not only is the sound and the picture quality improved, but the information you get will be a little more expansive than it was before. So let's just get into the lick. This was the lick that I posted way back in 2008. <laughs> Which is a standalone lick, it could be a tag lick, it could be a, a ending lick, it could be a kickoff lick, it could be really anything you want. It lasts about two beats, uh, you know, 16 notes or 8 notes depending on, you know, what timing signature you're playing over, but it lasts about two beats in general. So let's look at each hand individually. I'm going to start with uh, looking at the, the left hand and use this fancy zoom function that we have now. And we'll try to stay centered on the banjo when we do this. That's the only tricky thing about using this zoom. It's kind of quick. <laughs> especially today. For some reason, the computer not cooperating with me, especially after I bragged about how good it was. Anyway, here's the basic fingering. First string, third fret, index. Ring finger on the second string at five. Pinky on the first string at five. So the pinky and the index kind of are on the same string but at different frets. So this note is canceling out this note right now. And what we're going to do is play this pattern with the right hand, and I'll give you a close up of the right hand in just a minute. You're going to play one, five, and then release the note with the pinky, play one again, the second string, then everything is open, one, two, and then here's the next fretted note, push off from three to two on the third open first and then you end on the third and if you do a count on that one and two and so by the time you play the third open three that's the third note you're either into another measure in cut time or you're in the middle of a measure in common time one and two and three and four and so you can consider the lick about two beats long. Now, what's happening with the right hand? We have the fingering for the left going. Let's try to zoom down to the banjo head. Okay, my computer's telling me I need to activate the zoom. No joke. <laughs> so here is the banjo head. Let's try to zoom in on that a little bit. Try to keep it in the camera shot. There we go. Get my old white legs in the picture. Sorry about that. Hopefully, it won't, look, it won't blind you with my white legs there. So here's the banjo head, and remember your X and Y position. This X is here, Y is here. It's going to give you a mellower sound at Y. So pick the spots you like for the particular tone of the lick. What we're going to do for the right hand is one. These two fingers pretty much handle everything here. If you want to try to drop the thumb down for some of these notes, you're welcome to do it. But that's going to be a lot more work for your thumb. Because this does have a little bit of melodic feel, even though it is a stroke style lick. One, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, three. And I'm going to try to stay in the camera shot so you can see the strings. So there's the right.
right hand, so it's not that complex a lick. You just have to get those two fingers to do their job on the first and second string. Now the next question would be, where do I use this lick? Okay, this could be a, and I don't know why, now my head is cut off. The camera must be shifting. So the lick being two, bit, two beats long can be a standalone lick that you use for a tag lick, say at the end of a phrase, here's nine pound hammer. <laughs> in between verses. It could be a kickoff. It could be an ending lick. Of course you'll have to play around with the timing of the lick get get it to work in certain situations. So there's the lick, there's the right and the left hand, and the fingering uh, needs to work together. The hard thing about any lick of this sort is getting the right hand uh, to kind of follow the left hand lead, if you want to think of that way. You only need to release fingers after you've passed the point where you need that note anymore. So just learn how to coordinate your left and your right hand together, because that's the secret to any good banjo playing is coordination between the two hands. One hand by itself functions to, you know, the right hand functions to play the notes and to get the tone, but the left hand has a lot to do with, you know, the fluidity of the lick and how well it flows. So you need to work on the coordination between the two hands. Do the lick slowly, thinking about, you know, what fingers are being moved around as you play the lick. try to play the lick too quickly. Just work on your spacing of notes, your dynamics, your tone and everything and just let the speed come with practice and being familiar with what you're doing. So there's the very first lick of the week lick that I posted and I didn't give it a name so this will be what we'll call lick of the week redo number one and I appreciate you watching this video and hopefully you'll like the new improved quality and sound. And we'll see you on the next redo video. Thanks.